talk about no barking in the crate, no whining in the crate. And how do we fix this? Right now we have a dog off screen that we're playing with to get her to get animated because she's frustrated and she wants to come out. Like all puppies, they want to come out, they want to socialize, they want to get played with, they want to get fed. So how do we teach them that barking in the crate does not get you what you want? I know you don't want to hear this, but I have to tell you the truth. You got to ignore it to the best of your abilities. All right, because this is what's going to happen. If she whines and you feel bad for her and you come over while she's right in the middle of whining and you open the door, she just trained you. She is absolutely convinced via a type of training we call free shaping where the dog learns something on their own. They realize that they can manipulate their environment and whining gets Dodo head to open the door. Now what happens when you've opened the door a couple times for the whining because you feel bad and now it's two, three days later and now they're whining but you said, oh, I'm not gonna open it. We have to put a stop to this. So the whining, whining, whining continues. They're absolutely convinced that whining will get Dota Head to come over and open the door. It's worked the last three times. Well, now they amp it up and they switch to barking. Barking, 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 barking. You say to yourself, well, they must really need to come out. And so right in the middle of the barking, you come over and you open the door. Oh my God, you've just convinced them that barking, if whining doesn't work, amp it up. Barking will get Dodo Head to come over. Now, when the barking stops working, what they'll start to do is paw the crate. Paw, 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 paw the crate. If you walk over and your dog is pawing the crate and you reach down and open it, again, you have now convinced your dog that whining, barking, and now pawing will get Dodo Head to open the crate door. All right, so that's them manipulating their environment. They're actually training you. So if that's what you're not supposed to do, then Garrett, what are you supposed to do? Well, that's what I'm gonna try to tell you. You have to try to find a way to open that crate door before they start whining, barking, pawing. If they're whining, barking, pawing, you have to wait them out. You have to wait them out. Like right now would be an okay opportunity to open it because she's, even though she, that's not a good time. And it's hard to, I'm wearing the mic so you may not be able to hear what she's doing. But there's that whining. I'm not gonna open for that. Now, what I can do is kind of break up that OODA loop, just a little mild tap. So, oh, what's going on? Tail's wagging. And I say, that's the kind of behavior I want. That's what I'm gonna pay for. Now she's gonna wanna shoot out because her buddy's out there playing, but we're still gonna keep the rules in place that we talked earlier in this video series. You must stay. Stay. Free. She did a good job staying. Now she's free to go run and play. That's basically the crate 101 on barking in the crate. Good luck with it. It's not easy but stay with it. I promise you it'll work in the long run.